Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Talks with AK. In the series of data structures with JavaScript, the first data structure that we are going to work with and that we are going to be implementing is linked list. So, what is linked list? Well, a linked list is pretty much exactly what it sounds like, right? It is a list of elements called nodes that are connected together or linked together in a single line or in a single file line. The last node of the list is connected to nothing, so that's why it's always connected to null. There are two types of linked list, a singly linked list and a doubly linked list. This list is singly linked list because each node has only reference to the node after it or next node. In a doubly linked list, each node has reference to the next node but it also has reference to the one before it as well or the previous node. The linked list itself as a whole only needs to know about two nodes in the whole list for it to function correctly. It needs to know about the head node and the tail node and it keeps a reference to those nodes by two pointers which are rightfully called head pointer and tail pointer. In doubly linked list also, last node or the tail node has reference to null as a next node and head node has reference to null as previous node. So that's it. That's what a linked list is. It's pretty straightforward, right? So we are going to want to perform some operations on our linked list so that we can add data to it and retrieve data out of it. The operations that we are going to perform are adding a node to the head of the linked list, adding a node to the tail of the linked list, and removing the head and removing the tail. As you can see, the head and tail pointer change which node they are pointing to as the nodes are added and removed. So they never lose reference to what the head of the linked list is and what the tail of the linked list is. Another operation that we are going to want to perform on our linked list is called searching. We are going to want to be able to search through the linked list to see if a certain piece of data that we are looking for actually resides in our linked list. So we are going to implement that as well. All of the nodes that we will be creating are going to be represented as JavaScript object. And here is an example that might we have. As you can tell, it has three properties. It has a value property, which is basically the data that it holds. In this example, it is 100. It has next property, which refers to the next node in the linked list. And it has previous property that refers to the previous node to this one in the linked list. So let's finally get into some code and start creating our linked list. For most of the coding that we will be doing in this video series, from now we will be using a free online text editor called Replicated. So head over to it, create account if you don't have, and hit new REPL and choose JavaScript and put any name, say linked list, create REPL. In previous videos, we learned about constructor function, JavaScript this keyword, and JavaScript prototype objects. If you haven't gone through that videos, please find the link from the description box below and watch these videos before starting this video. Because we will be using them to create our linked list and to create the nodes that will be in our linked list. Okay, let's do that now. We will write a function called linked list. And this will be our linked list constructor function. And for our nodes, we will write another function called node. Okay, great. So we know that our linked list and our nodes both going to have some properties on them. Well, which properties they are going to have, we can check that over here on our diagram. We can see that each node will have three properties on it, value, next, and previous or prev, we know that our linked list is going to have only two properties on it. So linked list will have head and tail. So let's fill these values in our code now. So let's set head and tail properties to null for now.
and the reason that we are going to do this is because when we initially create a linked list with this constructor function there is not going to be any nodes in it yet because we have not added any node to this linked list yet so the head pointer points to nothing so we say it null and tail pointer points to nothing so we say it null so for each node constructor function like we just saw here each node will have value next and prev pass these properties so one is value one is next and one is prev let's assign these values so this dot value is equal to value which is this and this dot next is equal to next and this dot prev is equal to prev so you notice that in here in node function we write this dot value is equal to value which is passed from here and this dot next is next which is passed from here this dot prev is equal to prev which is passed here okay great so these are our constructor functions and just run through an example with each really quick just to make sure they are functioning correctly so we create a variable called ll which is new link list and it doesn't take any parameter so if we console log out this ll it should print empty link list so we run it so the object we have created which is an instance of our link list constructor function and that has a property head and tail set to null because initially we don't have any node in the link list so this is just an example of link list and we can create multiple link list as we want for example if we want user list so we could say a variable user list insta user or instagram user a bunch of users in it we can say new link list which will hold all the list of users of instagram so now you might be thinking how can this link list that we just made here is the right link list we want to have all we did was make a simple object with two properties on it well if you remember back when we explained diagram here we said that all a link list needs to have in order to function correctly are two pointers the head pointer and the tail pointer head pointer which points to the first node in the list and the tail pointer which points to the last node in the list so if we can reach the head or tail nodes in the list we can get to all other nodes because they all are connected to one another by their next and previous properties or next and previous pointers okay let's make sure that our node constructor function also work properly i'm getting rid of this ll and console statement so we will create a variable called node1 is equal to node which accept value as 100 and next property will be pointing to node2 which we are going to pass as string for now instead of an object and the previous property will be equal to or pointing to null since this is the first node there is going to be no previous nodes before this that's why previous property is null let's console log out this node node 1 and run it great now we have a node with value 100 next is node 2 and previous is null so this object we just created is an instant of node constructor function it has value 100 next property as node 2 and previous property null because we don't have any previous property for now and these values are exactly same we passed here great so it look like both our constructor functions are working perfectly in the next video, we will be adding more nodes to our link list. If you like this video, please press thumbs up, share with your friends who might find it useful and don't forget to subscribe to get notified about more interesting technical videos from Tech Talks. If you have any question to ask, any suggestions or feedback to improve my video, please write down in the below comment box.
I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.